Memorial Hermann, Texas Medical Center, they say trauma injuries now are up 24% and they say it most likely relates to the coronavirus pandemic. Here to explain health reporter Haley Hernandez. Haley. Hey guys, so yeah, that's actually a surprising number considering people are staying home more, so you'd expect accidents to go down, but they tell us all traumas are up and more um, motorcycles, ATV and bicycle accidents are happening, perhaps indicating that people are getting hurt while enjoying the outdoors, and that has them concerned about this weekend. Labor Day is that traditional last hurrah of summer, but Memorial Hermann warns not to become part of their growing statistic, a rise in trauma accidents compared to the same time last year. Michael Beckman added to that number last month while riding his motorcycle through Waller County. Head on into one pole, ejected me from the bike, and I hit a barbed wire fence and slid down the barbed wire fence. He's 35 with a wife and baby, and while riding a little too fast, he almost lost it all. You sit up in here and you think about, you know, when can I get home to my kid, my wife? You know, how's my wife doing at home? Struggling, because now she's at home with my son by herself. Dr. Michelle McNutt, trauma medical director for the Memorial Hermann Red Duke Institute, says accidents like this and trauma in general are the leading cause of death for people under 40, and it's preventable. Do not drive distracted. Uh, this involves driving under the influence of alcohol, drugs, and also text messaging. Um, holiday weekends always bring more drivers on the road. Uh, and also typically increased alcohol consumption. Doctors know you want to get out this weekend, something Beckman used to relate to. Because you can only keep people in the house for so long before they go nuts. So and on a motorcycle, you can social distance because you're by yourself. You can get on your bike and just go. But now he says he won't be getting on one for a while. Unfortunately, a motorcycle is not in the plans for anytime soon. That's not a good feeling on my part. No, my wife was at home terrified of the bike to begin with, and then something did happen. And I made a promise to my mom and my family that I would wear full gear every time I left the house. So Dr. McNutt says Labor Day can lead to a lot of unnecessary hospitalizations. Keep in mind, have a sober and non-distracted adult to supervise kids around water when grilling food and especially near fireworks and sparklers, Lauren. Good advice. And Haley, how is that patient doing now? Yeah, we heard him talk about how he um, wore protective gear every time he went out on the motorcycle. He says that's the reason he's still here today. He did get to go home and was reunited with his three-month-old baby who, due to COVID restrictions, wasn't able to see him in person during his entire hospital stay. All right, we're glad to hear he's doing well. Uh, indeed. Haley, thank you.